Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. There may be the odd background sound as it is three o'clock in the afternoon. So it's daytime, there's people about outside. Well, you know, in the world. So I think it's worth remembering that you don't need, none of us need for complete silence to fall asleep. And it took me quite a while to get my head around that idea when I was younger because that is what I felt I needed. Then over time, I realized that it's never quiet. It's never like completely silent. There's always a sound. There's always something, whether it's a fly in the room or the wind outside. Because we can't shut the weather off, you know. It's still going to be windy or you're still going to have rain tapping against the window. Uh, You might have the sound of the central heating. Uh, There's always the sound of the fridge turning on and off in the kitchen every now and then. Or the creaks of the house. Because, you know, houses have their own sort of certain sound. And, you know, it's, it's just there's always some kind of sound. And even if all of that external sound was taken away, you still got the sound of your own body. You still got the sound of maybe your stomach making weird noises occasionally. You got the sound of your own breathing. So you, there's always some sounds, and the reason I mention it, I guess, fairly often is due to, I guess, getting your getting your mind around the idea that actually even if there is Herbert the Pigeon in the garden deciding to pipe up it doesn't matter it's just a sound and he wasn't doing anything before I made this recording he must have known (laughs) I drew the curtain shut closed the window and he must have thought ah Jason he's making a recording I better serenade him and all his audience. Thanks, Herbert. So having complete silence isn't necessary. I mean, admittedly, if there was a helicopter landing in the garden, I probably, you know, I probably press the pause button, you know, for no other reason to find out why a helicopter's landed in the garden. So any kind of extreme noise, then yeah, fair enough. It's not necessarily the easiest thing in the world to fall asleep when uh, maybe there's blaring music out. And there'd be no point in me saying it is, because sometimes it isn't. But as I've got older, and as I've got used to the idea of that it's never going to be silent, I do find that I can actually fall asleep when there's music being played in the flat downstairs or in the garden or in the summer when the windows have to be open because it's to let air in because it's too hot inside. That brings and invites lots of sounds, you know, people mowing their lawn or People having barbecues or just talking very, very loudly to each other. And I found that something happens when you relax. You're lying down on your bed and you're just drifting. The first thing that seems to switch off is your ears.
And I noticed that because I've fallen asleep when there's music or, I don't know, the counsellor around trimming the hedges. And they, you know, they're, it's like on and off, on and off. It's quite a loud sound. And sometimes I will just drift off to sleep. And then I wake up and there's a gap. My only fee a few seconds. But there's a gap between me becoming a bit aware, a bit aware of my surroundings. And then the sound starts. So it's almost as if these virtual earplugs appear and then disappear. So our mind, when we relax deeply, when we focus, and when we fall asleep, seems to switch off the hearing. And I guess it's still on, but it seems to switch it off. So we don't notice it. And the same thing happens, I don't know if you've ever found yourself really focus it on something like reading a book or maybe you're watching television or you're on the internet giving all your focus to something and someone will be calling you or talking to you and you didn't even hear them or maybe you've been in the opposite situation where you're trying to get the attention of someone that is in that position of focusing and they're not hearing you, and you're right next to them. It's as if their ears just stop working. They're reading a book, or they're, you know, reading what's on the screen. Similar things sometimes seems to happen when people are driving, or when they're watching a movie in a cinema. Just seems to get to the point where the focus is on what they're doing and all the surrounding area, the sounds, everything seems to just disappear because all of your attention is focused on what you're doing. And even if you're doing very little, such as just lying down on your bed relaxing deeply you're given that your focus of attention to the point where whatever happens outside of your environment is of no consequence to you it doesn't doesn't even interest you it's almost as if it doesn't exist And you know, when you think about it, it almost seems a bit strange that this can happen. But it does happen a lot. Sometimes someone will be daydreaming. Maybe st I've done this myself. I've been standing in a queue, maybe at the bank or in a shop. And there's a long queue and I'm just standing there. And somebody starts talking to me or uh, one of the members of staff call me over to, you know, where they're serving. And I just don't hear them. Completely just don't hear them at all. Because my ears seem to have just been switched off. As I'm focusing on whatever I'm daydreaming about. Who knows what it was. It could be anything. But there's something about just standing there. Doing nothing. That is almost trance like. Especially. Maybe it's being in a public place where. 
we're there for a reason. We go to public places usually, yeah, like in a shop or a bank or a bakery or wherever you may go, a, a gym, a cinema. You go for a reason. There's a reason you've gone there. And then that reason is almost interrupted. And you're just standing there or just sitting there waiting. And your mind starts to drift. Partly maybe through boredom. Maybe partly because you weren't expecting to be waiting around. And your mind starts to drift. And your hearing just seems to stop. For that temporary period. Which means that if there was a bed. You could very easily fall asleep. Maybe even in a chair if it's comfortable enough. I've fallen asleep standing up in the past. It's very rare, but it has happened. Where I've just been so tired. You know that feeling where you're just so damn tired. And the one thing in the whole world you'd love. Not money, not food. Not romance, nothing. What you want more than anything is suddenly for there to be a bed up here. And you could just lie down in it and go to sleep. And ideally not be seen by anyone. Because you're, you know, in a public place. So it's a bit, you know, it's not something that you would normally do. But that longing to be able to just lie down or sit down comfortably undisturbed and to just let go of everything and close your eyes and allow your body and your mind to slow down and to enjoy the rest that it requires and you know that if you were able to lie down in that bed now, you would find it so easy to just drift off because there's no effort involved. You're just ready to relax so deeply. And maybe it's because you are, have been relaxing up till now you've been relaxing even more and more and you know sometimes when you relax so so very deeply and your body's just so calm and loose and your mind just doesn't want to bother with anything all it wants is for you to just switch off, lie down, and let go of everything, knowing that the sense of relaxation that you're already feeling is going to increase ten times. Sometimes just by letting out some breath releases any remaining tension or stress from your body. And all you want, all you really, really want is to just let go, to relax. Completely. And if you feel like it, and 
if that's what you need, you can also just drift away into a deep sleep, not needing anything or anyone as you relax even more in every part of your body especially your mind especially your mind letting go and slowing down almost coming to a standstill almost empty as if all thoughts have just left of their own accord like it's the weekend they've all gone home for the weekend and left your mind clear and free and empty with nothing to be concerned about nothing to worry nothing to think about at all freeing your body and freeing your mind to enjoy the levels of comfort that you can naturally experience in this moment as you continually Relax even further, relax even more, letting go of every, every part of your body, every muscle, relaxing, deeply relaxing calm and loose, quiet and peaceful, letting go even further, in fact letting go of the idea of letting go because you don't need any encouragement to relax so deeply because it feels so wonderful to let go of everything completely let go of everything completely moving further into that sense of deep deep relaxation and comfort spreading spreading through your body and your mind overtaking all of those feelings that were there before and transforming those original feelings into ones of deep, deep comfort and deep, deep relaxation not just in your body but also in your mind, even more relaxed in your mind, even deeper and softer, comfort sinking deep into your mind. Relaxing every single muscle of your body. As I count down from ten down to one, 
with every number you hear, you will feel ten times more relaxed in every muscle of your body. Ten times more relaxed with each number you hear in every part of your body. Now, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 